And welcome back, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, when last we left off, we found this nexus. Brink sadly had a, upon trying to unearth it and get in here, ended up falling to his death. So, a little bit more dangerous here. But thankfully, since it's a Lucas Arts game, we won't have to worry about us dying. Try it on this door and see if this is any better. And let's see here. Survey says nothing. Crud. All right. I'll go down it. <laughs> kind of getting a little tired of uh, getting just closed doors. Let's see what we got down here. I believe the game came out in 1995, and for 1995 these really were pretty cool graphics. At least as far as I can remember, I remember being impressed with some of this stuff. Just a lot of it looks really neat. LucasArts did a great job uh, just creating this world and creating uh, the different environments and creatures as you'll see later on. Looks like we're in a crystalline passageway here. There's a button. Is that like an airlock? There's an airtight seal between these two rooms. I guess it is. There's an airtight seal between these two rooms. So does this not open? The door is airlock. There's an airtight seal between these two rooms. <sighs> All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. This looks like a command center. It's an energized crystal. It's an energized crystal. This crystal is lifeless. This hole is empty. Probably missing some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's look around here a little bit. I can see a tunnel that connects to the island I just came from. It's like nothing down here. Looks like we're heading out of here. So that's the... See, I, I enjoyed that, though, the point-and-click adventure games, where there's just times where you, you know, make no progress whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, you just wander around trying to find your way. Is this a connecting path here? I get down the ramp. There you go. Now, can I go that way? I guess I can. Alright, so it looks like this tunnel was a waste of time. See if you can find a way to open up that uh, purple engraved door. Or go down this ramp. Ten to one, it's the power source of this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch. <laughs> or the 
it's like there's a lens right in there too. Well, whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. And a hot jukebox and a cold beer. Or just a starship headed for home. You can't really blame him for losing it. Uh, let's see. I probably want to keep that in. All right, so that just looks straight down. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. All right, so it looks like there's got to be a way to get that. I think this is some type of direction thing. Let's see what it does. Oh, this is going to be a fun puzzle. Yeah, alright. So this thing goes down. Okay, so you gotta make it grab the lens. No, don't look down. Damn it. Back up. Yes, yes. Back up. Alright. Come on. I think. Yeah, right, that clear. Alright, so we want to make it go down a couple times. Oh, that clears it all out. Great. Okay. Make it go over a couple times. I think that's the grabber. So this one is five down, four left, and grab. Come on. This might be a little while, folks. Oh. Did I just miss it? I could also be completely off. Let's try going one more left. Or I might be too far down. Zoom. How do I make it go back up then? Let's uh, clear out that. Make it go up. Uh oh. <coughs> yeah. Now shoot. <coughs> yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Gonna have to cut the movie off soon, so I'm kind of hoping to get this thing before then. Hi. All right, there we go. We got it. Sweet. All right. Wait, wait, where'd it where'd it go? Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Was it supposed to do that? Oh, maybe it, maybe it has to drop it again at the top here. No. Or did it already do what it had to do by... Oh, uh, now I probably gotta move it again. I'll bet you that's it. Alright. 
I'm going to call it a video here. Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, guys.